Hey everyone, I hope you've been well and welcome back to the channel. For today, I wanted to walk you through my updated travel journaling kit for my summer trips. I actually think I haven't really like thoroughly showed you what I bring when I travel, but then again, it really varies per location and per city and per country and whatever I will be doing for the specific trips. But in the next few months, I will be traveling a lot. So I thought it's prime time to share with you how I decide on what to pack and what I include in this nifty pouch you see right here. And so let's get started. Before we continue, I'd like to let you know that I have a book it's called The Art of the Travel Journal, and it is still available at bookstores worldwide or on Amazon. It basically contains tips and ideas and inspirations for travel journaling. So if you'd like to know more about how to pack your things for trips, what to collect, what to document about, I highly recommend this book because I wrote it. And also, it's basically a more in-depth um, guide to all of the things you need to know about travel journaling. My videos here do inform a bit or two, but this is like the um, guide that you need in order to start documenting and chronicling your life. So I hope you get a copy if you haven't yet. And before we continue, I'd also like to let you know that I have an upcoming workshop at rickshaw bags in San Francisco. I'm so excited to be partnering with rickshaw bags because they're also going to be in this video later on. But I also had um, put up some workshops for the San Francisco Pen Show, which are now sold out. I was going to post it here, but it's sold out already. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have a workshop in San Francisco in the Bay Area. So if you're going to be there by end of August, make sure to click the link in my description to know more. It's abc.com slash workshops. Going back to this pouch, you're probably wondering why, Abby, are you not using a Delphonics pouch? Well, it's because I co-created this pouch with a local brand in the Philippines called Badass Tote Girl. So Reese is one of my good friends. Actually, I'm really friends with a lot of small business owners in the Philippines. And so um, I think in 2021, we came out with this pouch and it's a really nifty size that I personally requested with these pockets so that it would have a lot of storage for different types of tools. If you're going to ask me if it's available right now, well, no, but we're going to be releasing our second reissue on September 9th for the paper convention PH in the Philippines. So if you're going to be in Manila at the time, I will be there. Um, yeah, this will be available and we're currently curating the kit. Um, usually it comes with a pouch and like stickers and other tools, so I'm really excited about that. So this um, kit will be for my trip to New York, which is more or less like two weeks. I'm going to New York and Chicago for holiday and also for my series of workshops with Yoseka Stationery. So I just have my Kokuyo glue right here. It's glue tape and it's my favorite tape. It's very overused. I have the large one because I just like the size of it and I refill it a lot. So it's basically my glue. If I don't have this, I usually just go to a nearby school supply shop or office supply shop. This is an Everyday Explorers Co. clear stamp set. This is the Little Labels stamp set and I always bring one mini clear stamp set every time I travel. I feel like this would be super appropriate because I like the labeling. I really like these stamps and they would fit my travel journal pages because I'll be journaling on the go. So I'm bringing this one. So we have a bunch of pens here that I want to show you quickly. So the first one is the mild liner. This is the neutral colored one that came out recently in a set. So I don't use the entire set. I use this one and the green one a lot. Here I have my Tombow brush pen. I don't think this is a Fudenosuke, but it has a black one and a gray one. And this one is a Sakura Micron. PN, which is plastic nib. I use it for sketching. I find that if I have this, I don't really look for anything else. So I just have that in. So I'm going to break it down for you. I had a lot of um, decision fatigue deciding 
which ones to bring in terms of covers and the inserts because a lot of it is based on different um, motivations and goals. But before we get to the covers part, I wanted to show you this one. This is a very nifty hack that I always do whenever I travel. So if you have any clear envelope with you or a Ziploc or whatever thing you have, um, just bring one because this is where I house all of the ephemera that I collect. Right now, it's pretty empty and it has a bunch of stickers and my pair of scissors. So this pair is from Tools to Live By in Taiwan. It's so cute. So I asked one of my friends to get it for me when she was in Taiwan. I just find these like really cute. Like every time I take this out, it's always a conversation starter. Like it's so cute. I'm like, I know. Other essentials I like to bring while traveling are these ones. So washi samplers, very basic. Another thing that I always bring with me is the Everyday Explorers Co. alphabet sticker sheet. The reason I use this is for um, airport codes, like let's say um, Florence was like FLR or something, like a shortcut of the city I'm visiting, like of course New York is NYC, stuff like that, and also like random labels that I might need, so I always try to bring them. When you fold it out, it's quite big, but then when you, you know, store it, it's pretty handy. So another thing that I always bring is the sticker sheet from the Traveler's Notebook sticker set. So you'll find out why later, but I use it a lot for um, logging. Another thing I always use is I have a ton of these. These are sticker sheets from uh, Crafts Delight. It's a shop in the Philippines as well. It's owned by Jana. So she produces a bunch of date stickers and number stickers and they're clear, clear stickers. And I love them. I use them all the time for my journaling. So I always have them. Next up are these stickers. They are actually new and I created them for my workshop. So if you're attending a travel journaling workshop, you will get the one on the left. And then if you're attending a creative journaling workshop, you will have the one on the right. These are all waterproof and die cut. Um, they're already cut, so you can use them to decorate your covers. I figured I'd also bring extra just in case I need it. So yeah, that's what is inside my clear plastic envelope. Usually the maps or like the brochures, they're like, slim size so then it fits really well moving on we have the tiny one first you know i was deciding if i wanted to bring the another passport because i've been using my other passport cover for my daily wallet and like my cash my ids and everything but then i decided you know if i'm going to be walking around new york i don't want to bring this big one all the time so i thought of having a tiny one to bring because I kept debating which size I will use certain inserts and I probably have probably debated it for days on end and even asked friends. But anyway, I decided on using this. So this is my brown insert and I stuck in a pocket here for the dates. So this came from a quarterly calendar that I use frequently for journaling. So right here, you see is my craft folder which i've decorated with some nice things and this is where i want to put also some business cards you know when you go to restaurants or cafes you want to collect stickers business cards i thought to have them here then it's just easy to store this is a an, a one half a half trip refill with md paper white insert and i have it on here just for, I don't know, I don't know yet. This is a sticker I designed. I don't know yet. It could be like a catch-all or maybe a page or an insert for the people I meet at the workshop. I have no idea yet, but it'd be nice to have here. So I just put it there for placeholders. So sometimes I like to just put random things and maybe like just decide on the spot like oh maybe i will use this for some kind of insert like a cafe log or stationary shop log or food log or whatever i feel so i'm just gonna keep that there and then once again this is the folder so i have three inserts on and i use the connecting band so i have the accordion here this is the accordion insert in their current new line 
So the accordion will exist for the main reason of um, drawing. So I'm going to be drawing a lot and I'm gonna hold myself accountable for that. I really have been enjoying drawing this summer. And then the other insert is a new insert that I used because when I went to Italy, I didn't want to have another like big notebook to log all of my notes. So I decided to use this as a travel log. Let me show you what's inside so far. So this is a travel log and I have my schedule right here for my trips. And what I do is this insert is basically an undated weekly memo passport. So instead of like putting the entire month there, I only put the dates of my trips. So the clear number, clear stickers here, the clear number stickers here are from Crafts Delight. And I love this style. It's like, you know, it's my style. So I use this as a log and it's my way of like doing deco and whatnot. And also random logs. Like, I don't know, gelato flavors log. Who does that? I do because I eat gelato every day when I was in Italy. Um, but this is for my New York one. I kind of did a pre-decorating situation. So what happens is once a trip is over, I use the next page for a next trip. So then it's just easier to kind of document everything as I go. I know this is good for like a couple of months, so maybe this will last me until the holidays when I do another trip with my family. But so far it's been really great because it's more less committal and I don't really use this as like a way to like do anything creative. It's literally just a log and as you can see I also use the icon stickers from Traveler's Notebook here and it's been really helpful for me. I don't know. It's just a good way to use up stuff. So yeah, that's what this is all about. So this is gonna be my everyday carry probably while I'm, you know, walking around New York. I don't wanna carry a lot of stuff because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be doing a lot of walking. Also, did you know that I briefly lived in New York for four months in 2018? So I will be going there now as a non-tourist and it'll be fun because I think it'd be nice to just explore the city and have like a different perception of it and also I'm gonna meet some friends there so I am really looking forward to it so yeah this one is the Traveler's Hotel insert Traveler's Hotel cover I'm getting all these words wrong it's like I haven't talked about these things for months um, if you watch my travel journal setup for 2023 it's pretty much the same but different so I'm still using this cover I love it. It's just like, I feel like it has so much character. By the way, I forgot to mention, I love these clips. I just like bringing clips. So going back, we have the first, when you open it, you have here my Bomb Queen Studio Moon Milk Canvas Pouch, which never leaves my side. I never store it. It's always with me. It's one of my favorite things ever. So I have backlog stuff here. I have like... These are the washi tapes I designed these for, so I always have them. By the way, they're still available at Yoseka Stationery, so I will link them down below if you want to get them. So I also have these dot stickers. I like using them for journaling, obviously. First insert you're gonna see here is my sticker release insert, which I did show also how I organized it. But right now, I just wanna show a quick flip through because I obviously have used the stickers inside. And I did this the other night, I'm so it's so satisfying. So these are the prompt stickers that are included for my journal. It's called The Diarist. And I thought, you know, I actually think some of the prompts are suitable for travel journaling as well, like food define, day by day, winding down, midweek break. So I thought of just adding that as well. I also put media recap because I don't know about you, but I watch movies a lot on the plane. It's either I watch movies, I work, or I sleep, but the flight is like um, a 10 a.m. flight, so then I'm not going to sleep. I'm definitely gonna work and probably watch something. So yeah, I like having this here. And then I wanted to show you this one. It is a preview of my PET tapes. So here is a little close-up. I did like a test print, so I've been designing this like 
sometime in June. So there will be three designs. There's an autumn themed one, a travel themed one, and a coffee and journals one. I figured that the full, the standard size is better for me than the, the passport size because the sticker sizes I have are quite big. So next up is my weekly vertical. This is the July to December one. And yeah, at, at first I was debating if I wanted to bring it because I, I don't know. I was like, do you have to bring it? Then I was like, I don't want to have a lot of backlogs. And so I decided to just put it in. So I, I also pre-decorated some of the pages as you can see here. And then the last one. And I also got this idea from a friend who showed me another reel about it. So I'm finally using the Traveler's Hotel insert because, I don't know, I felt like it was high time. I will be in New York and San Francisco anyway, so this is gonna be my, my full-on like US travel journal. This is with MD Paper Cream. And my good friend Kay suggested like, hey, you know, you can actually stick stickers on the luggage here. So that's what I did. I obviously did not do enough, but I will probably add something here if I find some stickers. But I want to show you the back part because it's my biggest flex. It's so cute. I mean, this is my favorite. Like, so this fragile sticker is from Baumkuhen Studio. And then I just stuck in like a, a, a map sticker here. But this is honestly my favorite part. Like, I feel like, don't skimp on the back. Like, look at it. It's like fragile. Anyway, going back. Yeah, this is going to be my documenting insert which I'm really excited to fill up and it's just yeah this is the paper I always use so I feel like it's just gonna be easy peasy and if I don't use the limited edition insert I usually just use um, MD paper cream I'm pretty basic person like when I know what I need I just use the same thing I can't really um, force myself to try something new Otherwise, I will just get frustrated and I will just end up buying another insert and I don't really like that. Um, either way, if I run out of stuff or I might need any more inserts, I can always buy at Yoseka when I'm there. So yeah, that is pretty much my setup and what's inside my kit. I'm very excited for it. Not much painting this time, so I only have my um, drawing and journaling tools. By the way, you're probably wondering where is the ink pad? Well, I also will buy when I'm there, but otherwise I usually bring a Shachihata with me. It's just that my current Shachihata ink pads are the regular size ones, which are like this big, and I didn't really want to bring it, so I'm gonna get the mini one. And last thing to add, you're probably wondering where is your film camera, Abby? Well, I will bring it. So this is my film camera. This is the Kodak uh, Ektar H35 half frame film camera and I will bring it. It's in the shade, the color sand and it does half frame um, photos. No film loaded at the moment. But I don't have any portrait anymore. But I do have, I did pick this up from storage. It was given to me by my good friend Kara. So this is a Kodak Color Plus in Color Plus 200. I think the first time I started using point and shoot film, I used this one. So I think this is like pretty much, it does the job. So let me know also if you're interested in me talking about film because I actually developed more roles from this camera and I do want to share my insights on film photography in general. I have done videos in the past about it, but I definitely want to explore more and kind of like branch out into analog documenting in general because I realized that as much as like this channel like focuses on journaling, it ended up being the focus of this channel. I kind of felt stuck in it and I wanted to really say that like I do journal a lot, but it's just one of the many ways I try to express myself creatively. So film photography is also one of them and also illustration and all other things, writing also. So yeah, let me know if you're interested to see more videos about that. And before I end this video, obviously, I forgot to talk about this because it was out of frame. So this is a rickshaw three pen koozie case. 
And I will be teaching at rickshaw bags, as I mentioned earlier. So if you haven't yet, make sure to check it out. And if you're from the Bay Area or if you're visiting San Francisco for the pen show, you can also sign up and you'll get a lot of exclusive materials and a journaling kit. So this one, I'm gonna keep it very brief. You'll probably see it in a future video anyway. I only bring three to four pens when I travel. I don't bring my full thing. I also wanted to thank Job. Um, he gave me this pen case, sorry. He gave me the same pen case, so we actually have twinning pen cases. So I think we have to take a photo this year when I see him at the pen show. So yeah, that's it for my journaling kit. Now tell me what you bring to your trips and I would love to know that as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!